Greetings, I'm Ashley Stewart and this is your WSSU Channel 96 News Web Update. Harassment, discrimination, violence, and abuse. Those are some of the allegations levied against Paula Dean Enterprises by a former general manager of Uncle Bubba's restaurant. In the suit, Lisa Jackson says during her five years with the company, the staff, quote, lived in fear of Bubba Ayers and the possibility of physical violence. She calls his conduct threatening and universally humiliating. She also claims he frequently brought or watched pornography on computers in public areas. Jackson, who is white, also claims black employees are not allowed to use the same restrooms as white employees. Jackson is asking for back pay, fees, and damages. Dean's lawyers say that the allegations are without merit and they are looking forward to their day in court. They plan on filing defense pleadings as soon as this week. It's Super Tuesday. 11 states hold primaries or caucuses today, including Georgia. The candidates are hoping for a large turnout today, but if early ballots are an indication, it won't be as popular as 2008's election. President Obama and Israel's Prime Minister stressed unity during a meeting at the White House. The President assured Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu the relationship between the two allies is solid. But when Netanyahu addressed the APAC conference Monday night, he asserted his country's rights to defend itself against a nuclear-armed Iran. Netanyahu suggested he would attack Iranian nuclear facilities alone if he thinks it's in Israel's best interest. A major change for the G8 summit. The summit was scheduled to be held in Chicago May 18th and 19th, but a sudden shift to Camp David was announced Monday. President Obama decided the presidential retreat in Maryland would better facilitate a free-flowing discussion among the G8 leaders. The NATO summit is still scheduled for Chicago on May 20th and 21st. Beware of the poison being sent to your cell phone. A CloudMark survey of 1,000 cell phone users found one in five had experienced a security threat with their device. Poison text messages grew 300% in 2010 and 400% in 2011, so beware. One type of poison text message involves tricking people into signing up for worthless services for which they get billed for. Another may lure you into completing a survey to win something. Instead, you're tricked into divulging your credit card information. In campus news, on March 21st, dining services will hold the Spring Fling Cookout Lunch on the Circle from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on March 22nd, Crank the Calf will be held by dining services from 4.30 to 8 p.m. with a live DJ in the dining hall. The 2012 Career Extravaganza will be held Wednesday, March 7th in Tiger Arena from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. In addition, there will be informational pre-career fair workshops. Professional dress is required, and remember to bring your resume. Savannah State is one of 66 HBCUs in the 2012 Home Depot Retool Your School Campus Improvement Program, which offers 13 grants ranging from ten dollars to $50,000. Please visit the website daily to vote for SSU and spread the word via email, Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media site. The online voting ends on April 10th. Grants will be announced on May 4th. To vote, just go to www.retoolyourschool.com backslash vote dash now. The Savannah State University men's and women's basketball teams are playing for the first time in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference Tournament in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Tickets are still available at the SSU ticket office and online. The ticket office can be reached at 912 358-3431. Monday was the tip-off for the first round of the women's tournament. We applaud our Lady Tigers who put up a good fight, but unfortunately came up short in the first round of the women's tournament as they fell to Maryland Eastern Shore by a score of 51 to 28. The Savannah State community is still congratulating head basketball coach Horace Broadnax. He's been named the coach of the year in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. In SSU's first year of MEAC competition, Coach Broadnax led our Tigers to the conference regular season title with a 14-2 conference record and a 21-10 overall record. This has been your WSSU Channel 96 News Web Update. I'm Ashley Stewart. Have a nice day.